PS5 coil wine. What is it and how do we fix it? That's what I'm gonna be figuring out in this video. Let's do this. So I've got two PS5s. I'm gonna first start by disconnecting the fans. That way we don't get any fan noise and confuse that with any type of coil wine. So I'm gonna disconnect this fan and then this fan. Now one of these PS5s has thermal paste and the other PS5 has liquid metal. This one has liquid metal. It's still got the warranty sticker on it. So now I'm gonna start them up and see what kind of noises we can get them to make. Now they're both plugged in, let's turn them on, see what kind of noises we get. And right away, I do notice a noise coming from this PS5. That's more of like a buzzing noise, not really a whine, but I think that's pretty common with coil whine. A lot of times it's not necessarily a whine, but more of like a buzz or even a ticking sound. And I do notice this one has the exact same buzz. So on this PS5, the buzzing will get louder and then quieter and then louder and quieter. So this is gonna be a great one to take apart and see if we can figure out what's causing that. Now it's time to get the sandwich out. And there we go. And now we can get to the power supply. So I have the PS5 all taken apart. I have the power supply isolated so we can check for noises. But before we go any further, I have to say, don't do this at home. This is a dumb idea and you should never open the power supply on a PS5 or really any other game console. That all being said, let's see if we can figure out where this noise is coming from. So I have the power supply opened up right here. Once I plug this in, obviously all of these circuits are going to be energized. So I have to be very careful not to touch anything. But as I said, please don't try this at home. So I have a connection from the motherboard over onto the power supply. And then I also have the power button hooked up over here. So I'm gonna plug it in, start it up, and then start checking for noises all around the power supply. Well, now I can definitely hear it from the power supply. So as far as I can tell, it's this component right here. So I need to get the rest of this power supply taken apart. Then we gotta figure out if we can get this piece out or what it even is. So I have the power supply completely removed from the casing. This is the component that I need to remove. And it looks like this component is a metalized film capacitor. I don't have the numbers for this actual component. I am gonna remove it and see if there's any numbers on it, but this looks just like several of the components that are in the power supply for the PS4 Pro. So I'm guessing it's pretty similar or maybe even exactly the same component, but now I'm gonna remove it and see if we can find any numbers on it and see if we can identify it any better. So it looks like this pin and this pin, I'm gonna mark them. because once you start working, sometimes it's pretty difficult to remember which pins you are working with. So I'm putting some flux on now, then I'm going to use my solder wick and my soldering iron to remove as much solder from those posts as I can. And it does look like they're using the exact same capacitor for the PS5 as for the PS4 Pro. I'm not gonna mess with this one since it's directly out of my PS5 power supply, but I have torn this one apart a little bit, so let me show you what's on the inside. So what we have here is a metalized film capacitor. This basically means that this metal part you see right here is basically just a roll of metal with this plastic in between each layer of metal. So the point of this type of capacitor is basically to take up excess voltage or stray voltage. That way there's no voltage spikes in the rest of the power supply. One of the interesting things about this capacitor is all of this blue stuff is some sort of epoxy that they put inside this entire capacitor, and I'm guessing they did that to reduce the noise. Now here's a piece that broke off of this capacitor from the back, and on this piece you can see the layer of plastic right here, and then this layer of metal. Now the question I have that I don't know the answer to is what would make this make that ticking noise? As far as I know, this is just a roll of metal with the plastic in between, so I'm not really sure what would make that make noise, but I know there's a lot of really smart people who watch my videos, so hopefully you can help me figure out what is causing the noise while using this capacitor. 
There's no way for me to know if this is the cause of other PS5 coil whine issues. I don't know if it's the cause of yours if you're having the issue, but I can definitely say this is what's causing it on mine. And unfortunately, I just don't know of a way to fix it yet, but keep an eye on my channel. And if I hear of anything, I'll definitely make another video about it. So hopefully you can fix yours in the future. I was really hoping to be able to fix my PS5 coil whine noise today, but unfortunately this is just a capacitor with epoxy around it. And I don't know of any way to make it any quieter than it already is. I'm sure there's an answer out there. So if you know of something that I can put in place of this capacitor on my PS5 power supply, please let me know so I can experiment with that in another video. If you're interested in learning about how to fix game consoles, I made an online game console repair school where you can learn how to do all the things that I've been doing in my videos. If you want to check that out, go to the link in the description or go to gameconsolerepairschool.com. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good one.